ever got stuck with a tune but could not name the song? We all have been there. It's called an earworm. It doesn't go away until we listen to the song again. The frustration of the faint memory forces people to resort to all kinds of tricks. One such effort is to hum the tune to people close to us so that they can help us with the song name. The researchers at Google have been working on this very aspect of the search for a while now. Last month they rolled out the feature on their search engine where people can hum and find the relevant song. Humming is not perfect. Even friends who are familiar with your voice and your music taste will take a while to identify the song. So, how does Google do it? The answer is machine learning. Let us know how it works. How much you into Google search? ML models transform this audio into a number-based sequence that represents the song's melody. Models are trained to identify these music tracks based on sources such as human singing, whistling or humming, as well as studio recordings. These number-based sequences are compared to thousands of songs from around the world and identify potential matches in real time. So, what is the secret sauce behind their algorithm? In a blog detailing the machine learning behind their new feature, the Google AI team wrote that they had trained a neural network with pairs of humped audio with recorded audio to produce embeddings for each input. These inputs are later used for matching to a humped melody. The idea here is to generate embeddings for every pair of the humming audio. The trained model should be capable of generating embeddings for a tune that is similar to the embedding of the song's reference audio. Now finding the right song is just about finding a similar embeddings from a database of reference recordings computed from the audio of popular music. So far the process looks good. But what really makes a difference is incorporating the triplet loss into the ML models. The job of triplet loss is to ignore a few parts of the training data. Given a pair of audio corresponding to the same melody, triplet loss ignores those parts of the training data that were derived from a different melody. The algorithm gets rid of other accompanying audio like those of instruments and other recordings. The model is left with the song's number-based sequence, or so to say, its unique identity. Try the new feature by Google. You can open the Google app and tap the mic icon and say, what's this song? Or click the search a song button and just hum the tune. Google will find your song. Don't forget to share the video.